Here in Sun Soak, Florida, one of the main attractions crossing the Mecham Block at the 2022 Kissimmee Auction is the world famous 1951 Hirohata Mercury Custom. This radical vehicle is arguably the most famous custom car of the classic era, being built by the renowned Sam and George Barris brothers in the early 1950s. The car features all kinds of wild touches, and from a looks perspective, those timeless and creative elements still hold up and still turn heads today. As you would imagine, after it was first assembled, it received tons of media attention, being featured in countless car magazines, while more recent years, it's garnered a wide variety of top tier awards. Some of those include a first in class at the 2015 Pebble Beach Concours, and in 2017, it was added to the National Historic Vehicle Register, being prominently put on display on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. There's no denying its status as a landmark piece, and it will for sure be a crown jewel in any car collection or automotive museum gallery. Now, while there's only one up for grabs, other good alternatives abound here at the fairgrounds. If you're not the lucky winner of the Hero Hata, here are four other custom Mercury's to consider packing loads of that similar low and slow style. First up and coming in hot from the Dwayne Stevens collection is this 51 coupe that is more than ready for a trip along Route 66. After gaining a four and a half inch chop and bespoke touches like shaved door handles, French headlights and taillights, a 57 Chrysler grille, and 51 Mercury side skirts, it's been painted a deep candy red highlighted with these flames. The custom artwork continues to the extremely neat engine bay, which features pinstriping surrounding a 350 cubic inch V8 topped with a four barrel carb and an Edelbrock intake. The car has also been fitted with AC, power steering, power disc brakes, and to get it down low, an air ride suspension. Inside, the vibrant red theme continues, paired to tan leatherette upholstery. There's also a tilt steering column, a hidden stereo, and a low car shifter, topped with this very cool color keyed eight ball. Keeping the theme on cool, but coming in a bit more understated is this 1951 coupe. It was built by Arizona Street Rods out of Phoenix and sports a two inch chop on the roof. Other body modifications include a deck trunk lid, a 1952 DeSoto grille, and taillights from a 1954 Mercury. The hood has also been nosed and given rounded corners. From there it was painted deep black and all of the door handles and factory emblems were shaved. To highlight the profile, elegant swooping side chrome trim from a 1953 Buick was added. Another neat touch are these Cadillac Sombrero hubcaps in the middle of wide white wall tires. Power comes from a flathead V8 with Offenhauser aluminum cylinder heads, an Edelbrock dual intake, and a pair of Stromberg two barrel carbs. The black color theme carries into the interior, which is two-tone with a caramel tan. A vintage air system has also been added along with Dakota digital gauges. One of the unique aspects of this era of Mercury is that even when they're presented in more stock form, they still appear pretty custom, like this 1949 convertible. This one has been through a recent restoration, being painted in metallic red fire mist paired to a two-tone gray vinyl interior. Fender skirts were added and all of the chrome and stainless was replated. It's near impossible to leave these cars alone, and this one did get a slightly lowered suspension. Inside an ultra neat engine bay is a 255 cubic inch flathead V8 paired to a column shift three speed manual transmission and dual exhaust. This drop top also has items like an AM radio, a clock, power windows, and these really cool wide white wall tires. Keeping on the red paint theme, this 1950 custom, nicknamed Odie of the Garfield comic fame, sports that hue along with some silhouetted flames down low on the sides. This one also has the largest engine of the bunch, being equipped with a 429 cubic inch V8 paired to a C6 automatic transmission. To support that large powertrain, front suspension from a 1975 Mercury has also been added. Also helping with drivability is power steering and power brakes. Back on the exterior, the body has received a four inch chop, custom bumpers, louvers in the hood, and the door handles have been shaved. Around back, the rear bumper has been reworked to have the dual exhaust exit through. Inside, there's a dashboard from a 1970s era Thunderbird, along with an AM FM radio, AC, and to prevent sticky fingers, an alarm system. 
from mild to wild, this vintage of Mercury continues to be a popular option for collectors and enthusiasts, and for good reason. They're neat vehicles with tons of style. While we can't all own something as unique as the one-of-a-kind Hirohata, it's good to know that there are still opportunities out there to make a Mercury your very own.